All right, so let's attach our pages to our album, to our binding system. I'm erasing my number threes. All right, I like to use my, my black eraser because it really works nicely on the black card stock with erasing. And this is the uh, Sumo Grip Eraser. Okay. <laughs> So let's grab our pages uh, to attach your pages without any frustration. <laughs> you can do, you can taper your hinges. I like to taper my hinges the thickness of my tape width. So I taper and I stop right at the end of the tape. Do not taper all the way to the end of the hinge. If you're using quarter inch tape, then you want to taper to that quarter inch tape, all right, where that tape stops. All right, now grab your pages, and I like to start from back to front. So here's my, my last page. You want to open up locate the binding pocket, right? You want to take that tape and you want to take it off part way, okay? Just part way, it's just easier. All right, then you want to open up your binding pocket. You want to insert your page. I like to start on the side that doesn't have tape, that has the tape completely on. And then work your way, right? Position it so that it is at the tape width, not all the way to the end of, not to the score line, just the tape width. And then stick it on. All right, once you stick one side on, you should be fine. Now remove the rest of the tape backing. Be careful because you have some shifting. So don't assume that this, this side down here is where it needs to be. So remove that tape backing and before you burnish, make sure that you reposition your page to the tape width and stick it down, okay? Now flip it over to the other side, do the same exact thing. This one should be just fine. It's attached to the, to the front side, so this side should be just fine. and burnish. How beautiful. Okay, notice how this side, it's not popping up anymore, right? It's got the weight of that page. Next page. All right, so we remo partially remove the tape backing. You wanna fold in toward the gusset, right? And you can do one side if you want. You don't have to do both sides. It all depends how comfortable you are, right? Look for that binding pocket. Then you attach your page. And again, this is true for all projects. You always wanna look for the binding pocket. The binding pocket could be all sorts of different sizes. But if you're using my hidden hinge or any version of my hidden hinge binding system, there's always a binding pocket, all right? Always. So position it to the tape width and some are harder to get than others depending on the page build, right? The page design sometimes can get pretty annoying to get attached to your binding system, but just get it done, guys. So tape width is where you're sticking it. Ne it should never go flush with your binding system all the way to that bottom score line. Never, ever, ever. All right, so be careful. That's why we attach our tape closest, closer to uh, that center score line, right? We don't attach it. Oh, there we go. And now this side. So depending on your tape placement, sometimes you may not have a clean 
you know, you may see a little bit of tape of exposed and that's just because your tape placement was just not exactly right. So to avoid that, you can use like a, a quarter inch tape. Okay. You just want to use a really good tape, double sided tape. Right next page. This one's going to be a pain in the butt. It's quite a thick page. <laughs> Look for your binding pocket. Let's uh, remove the tape backing partially because it just makes everything so much easier. Right, and then make sure, yep, all correct. So when your pages are decorated, it's even a little more challenging to attach your pages. So we'll start at the bottom where the tape backing is still attached and work our way to the top. Make sure you're on the right hinge too. I was on two different hinges there. Okay, there we go. Don't go all the way to the edge, to the, sorry, to the score line on the binding, binding system, just to the edge of the tape. This one's a little thicker, so I gotta kinda hold it up because I think it's gonna shift. All right, so make sure you secure it on that one side, and then once your shore is secured, then you flip it over and remove the other side of the tape backing. And you can wait till it's in the folded position to burnish. It's just easier, guys. So much easier. Beautiful. All right, let's do it. Oh, now, remember I said it was important not to get the tape right on the uh, on the score line and that center score line because whatever you put in this pocket, if you get tape on that center score line, you'll feel it on the inside of the pocket, all right? So you don't want to do that because what happens is whatever you put in here, it will stick. It, it will stick. So when you're trying to pull something out and it gives you resistance, it's because it's stuck to that tape, all right? So hopefully that helps. Now this one, next one. Again, doesn't matter what album you're using, what album design you're using, doesn't have to be mine. If you're using a hinge based, uh, the hidden hinge binding system in whatever version, you, the page will have a binding pocket. So you open up the binding pocket and you attach the page, okay? That's how it's done. So this one is easy because the page is not so thick. There we go. Remove the tape backing. I like to keep it slightly up so my tape doesn't shift so much. My page doesn't shift so much. Alrighty, there and last page. Look at how beautiful that album is laying flat traditional binding would have been like this. See that? Look at that. How fabulous. Last page, please. Binding pocket. It's always good for you to familiarize yourself with the binding pocket before you start removing tape. You can also fold this all, uh, Position the, the binding wherever it's more comfortable for you to attach your page. It's so, so nice. Get that binding pocket open and attach your page. Careful with your tape placement, not your tape placement, where you're positioning your page. You want to make sure that you don't see that tape. But again, if you do, it's not the end of the world. All right, not the end of the world. You may want to try a narrow, a more narrow tape until, you know, you get that just right. And sometimes even after all these years, you can see my tape backing. So 
not tape backing, my tape, the shininess of the tape. And I think that may be true on this very first page. Good job, Kathy. Let's see. Hold on. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't see it. All right. Look at that. Perfectly, perfectly flat, guys. Check out this album. Look at this. Album is on the first page. Typically, you've got this, right? Look at this. Perfectly laying flat. Let's flip our pages over. Look at that. Flat. Flat. You saw how that pivoting action happened right there? Flat. Flat. Last page. We have to put a closure on here. Flat. It's perfection, guys. Close the album. Notice that the binding system is no longer, you know, remember it was like this, right? Remember that? It was just popping up. There was no weight. It lays flush against your spine. And it's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There you go, guys. Your album is bound. You've got your binding pockets. We're not going to go through these pages because this is for every project. If you're curious about this project, this is the Moving Parts project. This is Moving Parts 1. And we created these beautiful, unique pages. And uh, it's totally fabulous. So just check the link down below. It's Moving Parts 1. There is a Moving Parts 2 as well that we're starting next. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon.